Hi viewers, welcome back. Today I am again come up with an informative video. If you are new my channel, please subscribe my channel. Today I am going to discuss about the Viper motor. I know maybe you have watched a lot of videos, but I am sure no one gave you the information which one I am, I will give you through this video. This video may be little longer, but it's very informative. Please watch it up to end. I hope you must like it. So let's start the video. We have to move to the board. So viewers, you can see I I already have uh, written three points here, which are uh, which one which are I am going to discuss one by one. So these three points are interlinked to each other. This is you know, first point is the current problem which I faced on the wiper motor. Second is how park brake work will stop at a predefined position and third point is very important and for this video i made the video for this point most important point what is the purpose of the inductor and the capacitor used in the wiper or used in the wiper motor electrical parts let's we discuss first point first point is the current problem which faced on the wiper motor so what is the purpose of the actually last time I went on a machine and I saw there was a problem as soon as operator switched on the machine the rear wiper motor automatically start running even the the special the uh, wiper switch was in off positions I asked him okay again off the machine and on it he again off the machine as soon as he switched on the machine the wiper motor rear wiper motor automatically started running i check all the connection all harness all connectors everything was okay i wondered what why this motor is behaving like this i removed the motor and you can see this video so now viewers i'm going to open this uh, one two or these two four uh, bolts I am going to open it so viewers uh, I am lucky one I found the reason I show you you can see here the threads are good one when I little move it so you can see so here here you can see What was the problem? The problem, but when I saw that problem, then I saw why this uh, motor is automatically running just only this problem. So after when I found the reason why this is happening, then I decided to make video for you people because to explain why motor is behaving like this, uh, I need to help the drawing okay so let's we also uh, see the drawing and also I also show you some videos so why motor is automatically running and afterwards we will explain the these two points later so yes this one is drawing and I hope you will we understand the actually problem okay and uh, through this drawings I will show you and first of all which I will talk about my third point about uh, these inductors L1 inductor 
L2 inductor, C1 capacitor, C2 capacitor. Okay, and this one we discuss. I will discuss later in the, my next points. So what? Why we use the this inductor capacitor in our electrical drawing of the wiper motor? So first I talk about how the circuit is working. So this one is a real wiper intermittently. I don't talk about this one. This both in my next video I will let you know how it work. Okay, I just only show you the. I just only explain how water wiper motor is getting the power. So here you can see. Here is a directly coming voltage. Point number six to this this strip. Okay, as you say, on the point this one on the this strip is directly as soon as machine is a switch on so here voltage is coming on this strip okay so this from this fuse is voltage coming to here but motor is not working motor is stop this voltage is are not for start the motor this voltage is for other purpose for the path break so here are the voltage so as soon as you switch on the wiper motor, so current from this three point to two is goes to the this pin number three, and this is power coming to this point, and here voltage coming to this timer. When timer become on, so what happen? This goes to here, and this one this point is already also connected to the. This uh, fuse, so it is also power. So power from here, and this timer become on. This voltage is goes here, touch here, and then voltage is come here, and this is a four pin, and this is directly go to the motor. So when we switch on the machine, voltage is reaches here on the motor, and motor is already grounded. So this motor is start working. Okay. So this motor start working, or this strip is start to moving. Okay. This is a small circuit. This area, as I told you, here is a power. As soon as machine is on, power come on this strip. This strip is a power come already is reached here. When this strip moving like this. So these three points also moving like this. So what is happening in this area? This area is a when this move, so this power connected to here. Okay, this power is connected to uh, these two point connected to each other, but this point is not connected. This is a ground. This is a separate. It's not ground. It is all plastic. You have seen in the video. This is all not. This not connected. This power connected to this one when it's moving like this. So when when machine is on and maybe this uh, strip is uh, reach here like this, maybe it's move here little when uh, our uh, this uh, the threads was uh, when broken our threads are finished maybe this motor is stuck here in this area motor stuck. So this power is connected to here, and this power goes to the through the relay goes to the motor. This motor, okay. So this motor only running, running, running. As a, this was this area is not parked at the predefined positions. So this power coming to here and this on the motor. This was the point number one. Why motor was running continuously. So viewers, this video you can see I have a special make this a sample for you people. So you can see understand when we switch on the machine. So here power coming from the fuse to this one. Okay. So when you switch on the wiper motor, so motor start working. So motor start like this. 
so you can see i moving this one but this gears not rotating so what happened like this now here is a power is coming from already here is power touch here when it touch down side so power is here already because it's coming from direct from the fuse so it gave the power to this step and through the relay this power goes to the motor and motor continuously work even you switch off the wiper switch but this our motor is working and when you switch on off the machine then it motor will stop when you switch on the machine because this strip is connected from the directly from the fuse when you switch on the machine it gave power to this strip and motor start working and this was the problem okay so therefore now is a motor moving but gears not moving so therefore gear not moving and motor start continue moving so my so we just now we talk about the point 2 and 3 these uh, two points are interlinked to each other now park brake how park park brake work so so you can say okay so you can see it's gear is moving so when in this condition what happen you can see this power is already coming from the fuse now is in a, is a insulated because it is a plastic so there is a disconnected power between this one and this strip is a power is disconnected and here you can see this this is our ground this ground is connected to this strip this ground is connected to this strip here here you can see okay so now this power is disconnected this power is disconnected and this ground is now connected to this point and now through the relay this power this ground is go to the motor and motor become zero so it discharge the capacitor so when this ground reach to the motor through this ground reach to the uh, capacitor so our motor become there is a stopped so viewers you can see uh, when i move this motor our gear are our gears are moving okay so because this this strip have the power getting from the fuse okay when it touch to this strip so power reached so power is connected to this strip and this wire is goes to the relay and from the relay power goes to the motor and motor is start even you switch off the from here if is here you just on the wiper switch and then off it but it getting this strip in this wire getting from this yellow wire through this strip and it goes to the motor and motor continue working okay you can see this one so motor in this working 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 and when it's reach is pre defined uh, position so it become stop so viewers these are the inductors these two inductors and uh, there are a white one you can see white is a capacitor one capacitor for this inductor and one capacitor is a, is a, under this uh, so here are the two capacitors okay two inductance and uh, two inductor and two capacitor brush is attached to the ground and through this uh, here is the you can see one device is here and uh, i will uh, i will discuss about this one uh, with the drawing what is the purpose of uh, this one when i show you drawing or on the drawing you will see you can see this area this area is on the drawing it uh, is it dotted it show in the drawing in dotted area 
or this is a ground this is a uh, touch to the body of the uh, this water and this give the ground and uh, through this uh, device and this brush motor get the ground and this get the positive and what is the purpose of this inductor and this device and these inductors what is the purpose main secret of this motor is this one so far what is the purpose of this so i will show you on the board and let you know what is the purpose of these all the components which are mentioned here now about the third point you know the third point is the why we use the inductor and capacitor in this circuit so the inductor meaning inductor oppose the current and produce the emf voltages electromagnetic force so what is doing this one and capacitor is also and the inductor is also store the energy capacitor is also store the energy it store the potential energy and it store the kinetic energy so our wiper is start with the help of this inductor how you will be surprised why this happen like this this wiper motor is is a due to this inductor our motor is start running why because this inductor what is the purpose of this inductor this inductor is produce electromagnetic force and you can see here this one video you can see here is the one device this one this device is here in the video you can see this is a this is a one device this device so what he can do he is electromagnetic force on this switch this switch is connected to the ground if inductor this not produce electromagnetic force this switch is off if this switch is off our motor not connected to the ground so due to this uh, due to this inductor which he produce electromagnetic forces this become this is also showing the magnet this showing the magnet and uh, when this magnet on this switch become on and our motor is attached to the ground so you can also see in the video this is this area this area is the dotted area and this attached to the body of the motor so this is due to this inductor our motor start running because it produce the electromagnetic forces and this switch become closed and our electric point is attached to the body of the motor and what is the purpose of this capacitor this capacitor stop the motor why because when this motor stop and this ground you can see this ground when this motor stop this ground through this wire it become negative and our capacitor is discharged and it stop the motor so our electromagnetic forces is dies off when this ground is through this wire strip reaches here our electromagnetic uh, voltage is uh, dies off and our this uh, motor stop so what is inductor inductor actually is also slowly start the motor because it oppose the current in the beginning so slowly start the motor and this capacitor is slowly stop the motor so i am sure you can understand what is the purpose of the inductor and capacitor in this circuit uh, viewers hope you uh, understand the my point it's a little difficult because i don't have the uh, 3d software 